About one in a hundred babies in the U.S. are born with congenital heart defects. But there's no implantable artificial heart designed specifically for babies and young kids with the most serious ailments, like four-year-old Caleb Strickland in Philadelphia. Little Caleb is on an artificial heart pump outside the body. It's called a VAD. I have a VAD to help my heart because the valve that it normally opens and closes wasn't working right because it, it, it was leaking because it didn't close all the way. Caleb's VAD works great, but it's plugged into a machine that's plugged into the wall. And so that means that Caleb can't leave the hospital while he awaits a heart transplant, which could take up to a year, at best. For the last two decades, James Antaki has been working on developing an artificial, implantable heart for babies and toddlers. That could help little ones like Caleb. It's about the size of a AA battery. Antaki's device will be different. It'll be implanted inside the body. And it's so close to being used to save lives and children. But the project came to a grinding halt last April, when the Trump administration canceled Antaki's $6 million multi-year grant. Caleb's mom, Nora Strickland, wanted to know why research that could help families like hers would be canceled. And Antaki couldn't understand what his research had to do with campus wokeness and anti-Semitism. We feel like collateral damage. When Antaki asked the Department of Defense, which facilitates the grant, why it was canceled, he was told it was, quote, at the direction of the administration. And then they provided no further details. This is no reason to punish us. We're trying to do good in the world. But then, following our original reporting on this story, Cornell made a deal with the White House. And Dr. Antaki's grant has been reinstated. They said, good news, the stop work order has been lifted. How are you doing? Relief and disbelief. It's so much bigger than me. You know, these parents and and children that are enduring just unimaginable torment and trauma. And I'm, I'm grateful to be in a position one day to make a difference. They changed like the wall or something? You did, Bubby. Because one day, kids aren't gonna have to stay in the hospital when they have a bad. Hey, I know the whole thing now. Now can we play video games? (laughs) 